Hello beautiful people, welcome to today's workout. We will be doing a range of different movements that are great for building stronger legs, but you will be getting a bit sweaty as well. We'll be doing 40 seconds of each movement with 20 seconds rest. Um, I will show you some beginners variations and some things you can do to make it a little bit harder, but as this is a timed workout, I really recommend that you listen to your body and if you need five or 10 extra seconds rest here and there, that's absolutely fine. If you feel like you can get a few more reps in and wanna carry on even during the rest, for a few of the of the movements that's great too so you'll want to grab a raised platform um, i'm using this bench but you can use a chair or the second step of your staircase um, a mat will be comfortable or if you've got like a comfortable carpet that's great too and for the more advanced you can grab a resistance band and a dumbbell as well to add to a few of these moves but without further ado we will get into the workout starting with the bulgarian split squat if you don't have access to a raised platform or if you're still beginning your fitness journey then I recommend doing the step back lunges instead, keeping a smaller lunge. And go! Awesome. So for the Bulgarian split squat, the really important thing is to set up right so you don't want to be over lunging. If you feel like your lower back is really stretched and in an awkward position, then you might have lunged out too far ahead and you can just move that foot in front closer to the bench so that when you dip down, you lower your body down, you feel a nice stretch in the front of the thigh and the quad of the leg that is on the raised platform. We're lowering straight down, squeezing the glutes and the hamstrings and the quads and pushing back up. The the weight of the body is primarily through the heel of the leg in front, the one that we're mainly working, but you might feel a little burn in both glutes. And rest for 20 seconds and then we'll come down and do that on the other leg. Again, beginners still are getting a really good workout, stepping back into these lunges, making sure you're not stepping too far behind you so that you can control the movement really well. And go. So making sure the core is engaged, dipping down nice and low, coming back up. That back foot is just resting gently on the bench. I'm making sure, as you can see, my knee, I'm not letting it go past the, the toe of the same foot. So as I bend the knee of the leg in front, it is not coming too far forward because when I lower down, I'm literally just dropping down. I'm not moving my upper body forward. I'm dropping straight down, controlling that movement. It's almost like a single leg, well, I mean, it is a single leg squat, the Bulgarian split squat. Great stuff, awesome. Then we're gonna move on to doing some squats, some good old trusty squats, a really awesome compound movement. Um, we'll be doing lots of these. Uh, if you're a beginner, you can sit back to a platform. So just getting that technique of moving the hips back first, weight through the heels, if you're more advanced, grab a dumbbell and a resistance band and go. Either way, we're getting a great workout and using the same great form. So the first thing to move are the hips. The hips go back behind you as though you're sitting down behind you. Like, yeah, literally as though you're sitting down onto a chair. Weight is through the heels, chest is up, squeezing intentionally. So squeeze the glutes and the hamstrings to bring the hips back up. Keep going, you're doing really well. My feet are turned out just a little bit. Feet are about hip width apart. Keep going. Awesome. Then we're going to do some low squats. So these are squats that you're really coming down all the way and then just back up to the mid range, okay? So you want to lower down all the way, as low as you can go, as low as your mobility will allow you to. And coming back up but we're not going up above 90 so we're lowering down picking it back up keeping the chest up weight through the heels not allowing the knees to fall in especially if you're using a band for these and holding a dumbbell really make sure you're pushing out against the band and not letting the knees fall in if you're a beginner and you're still doing the squats to the bench that is awesome keep going intentionally engaging the glutes the quads the hamstrings this is a great compound movement Amazing, well done. 
Next up, some pulsing squats. So really just pulsing in that position. Um, so staying around the 90 degree angle and just bobbing up and down. We're really solidifying this burn. And go. So pulsing around about that 90 degree angle. My hips are back. My knees aren't falling forward or falling inward of my foot. They're staying just above the mid foot. Chest up, breathing through. Core nice and tight. Keep going, you're doing really well. Awesome. Fab, next move is the single leg Romanian deadlift. So if you're more advanced, you can grab a dumbbell. If you're new to this exercise, you can hold on to a wall or a chair with one hand to just stabilize you and help keep your balance. So the trick with this exercise is to keep your core nice and tight. We start from a standing position and we move the hips back. It is the hips that go back, not the upper body that necessarily comes down. So you're moving your hips back until you get a really nice stretch in the glute and the hamstring. And then when you're at that extended position, that is when you squeeze the glutes and the hamstring and you just bring the hips back through. So it is the glutes and the hamstrings of the planted leg that we're working. The body coming out in front and the arms coming out in front of you, that just really helps to stabilize. Well done. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other leg making sure that we're keeping good posture feel free to do some stretches grab a drink if you need it in the rest you're doing really well and go so that back leg when that back leg comes up behind you we can actually use this to help us keep good form too so what I want you to make sure is that your hips are facing the mat. So hips are square to the floor. We're not rolling out to the side. I don't want you to be twisting so that you're looking to your side. No, it's all straight ahead. Hips, shoulders facing the floor. And if you find that this is really hard to do, then as that back leg comes up, I just want you to make sure that the toe is pointed in a bit towards the body. So it's almost like that toe is pointing in and that'll just help you shift that hip and make sure it's not rolling out. Awesome, and relax. We're coming down onto the mat now for some lateral leg raise. So in, the crawl position so hands under shoulders knees under hips I'm just gonna bring that leg out to the side so with this you might be a little bit limited by your range of mobility and that is absolutely okay I don't expect your leg to be pointing up to the ceiling and um, that is completely normal that you should only be able to lift it a little way but that is still super effective so I want you to think of your body as though it's like made of right angles so your hands are below your shoulders your your, your shoulders are square facing the mat knees um, or the one knee rather below the hip and that leg is just shooting out from the body and it is the only thing moving so lifting up lowering down well done, well done. You really feel your core in this one, and that's good. We're getting a double whammy. We're gonna stay on the same leg for now, doing some donkey kick pulses. So we're burning out that leg. And go, so lift up that leg behind you at a 90 degree angle and keep pulsing. So imagine there's like a ceiling just above you and you're just pushing it up push 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 we're not letting that knee drop down we're keeping that full hip extension really working the glutes here so keep pushing up 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 doing really well keep pulsing hold the core nice and tight don't overarch the back the leg is the only bit of the body that should be moving i don't want your spine curving and uncurving i don't want that keep it nice and still by using the core 
awesome work, amazing. And then we're switching on to the other side. And go. So that leg is just shooting out from the body. We're lifting it up as high as we can, lowering it back down, controlling the movement back down as well. I don't want you to just let your leg fall. Lower it back down with control before you pick it back up. We're not rolling out to the side. So again, your body should be facing the mat perfectly. I don't want it rolling out to the side so that you know your, your shoulders are, are uneven. We're using the core and we're keeping that integrity of that position, okay? And there's just that leg moving. You're doing really well. Keep going. Working the thighs, the glutes, inner thighs as well. Awesome. And then it is back down for some donkey kick pulses after the rest. Go. So really lifting that leg all the way up, keeping it bent at a 90 degree angle, getting that full hip extension, squeezing the glutes, pushing up against the ceiling. You're doing really well, holding the core tight, keeping the lower back in a good neutral position. We're not overarching the back. Arching your back is not how you build the glutes. You need to keep that core tight and engaged neutral spine position keep going you're doing so well amazing well done then we're going to come onto our back for some hip raises if you want to make this a little harder you can grab a resistance band and pop it around your thighs and also grab a dumbbell that you can place on your hips which will just increase the resistance but if you don't have those don't worry you still get a great workout go so the feet are just a little bit they're around about midway so you want when you come up all the way you want that angle at your knee to be about 90 degrees um, and we're squeezing the glutes and the hamstrings as we lift the hips up so when the hips are at the top position I want you to imagine that your body's in a straight line from the shoulder through the hip to the knee when those hips are up. So you can put your hands just above your hips to have something to point to or to aim to rather. But either way, really squeezing the glutes and lifting up those hips all the way. Amazing and relax. Then we are doing some hamstring hip raises and the way that we target the hamstring with these is that we move the feet further out. So remember before I said your feet should be at a 90 degree angle, well now it's more like, mm, I'm gonna say 120. <laughs> um, and go, don't have my protractor, is that what they're called? Oh my gosh, maths, it's been a while. Um, lifting those hip steps, squeezing the hamstrings, you move those feet further away, further down the mat, really feeling that intense burn, lift the hips all the way up though, the hips aren't coming any lower, they're still going all the way up, um, so you should still be aiming to get that straight line from shoulder to hip to knee when the hips are raised, keep going, you're doing really well. Well done, amazing. Next move will be the frog leg hip raise. So what we're doing with this is we are bringing the feet back towards the bottom, letting the knees fall open and we're squeezing the glutes, lifting the hip up, really targeting the glutes with this. And go. So feet together, knees nice and open, squeeze the glutes, bring those hips up. So targeting, the glutes really well here. Might feel a little awkward at first, play around with it. Allowing your knees to fall open. It's okay if you're a bit limited by your um, hip mobility, that's fine. Just go as far as is comfortable. Keep going, you can do it.
Well done, amazing. And we are halfway coming back in with the Bulgarian split squats. So again, if you're a beginner, just stepping back into that lunge. And if you do need more rest, that is absolutely fine. You're still work getting a really good workout in. So you just go at your own pace and go. Go at your own pace, she says, and then go. <laughs> so we're dropping down into that split squat, keeping good form, core is engaged. I'm not overarching my lower back. If you find your lower back is overarching, that's a sign that you might be overextending. And um, so you might have lunged out a bit too far away from the raised platform. So you wanna just shimmy back a bit and um, until you're comfortable and when you drop straight down, you can keep that upper body in a good position, the spine in a neutral position. Because the way that we do these exercises, it really matters and it really changes the um, results we get and relax. Yeah, you might think, oh, she's going on a bit about technique, but it does. It changes the results you get. It changes, um, you know, it, it prevents you getting back pain and instead getting that uh, muscular definition and increasing your strength. And that's what we want. We don't want to get injured. That is why I do these voiceovers. And go. Yeah, these voices are not just because I love the sound of my own voice, it's to make sure that we're really, we're really smashing this and you're doing so well and to encourage you as well. Um, because I'm, I'm genuinely really proud of you for showing up, for keeping going even when it's tough. These workouts as well, they're as hard as you make them. So if you feel like, oh, this is a bit, oh, I don't know, well, go for it. Go for it more, get more reps in. Intentional mind to muscle connection, like squeeze, intentionally squeeze those muscles working. The hamstrings, the glutes, that makes a huge difference. Huge, huge difference in terms of um, fiber recruitment. Great work. Back in with the squats. So squatting, again, beginners, you'll be doing a lot of squats to the bench. I'm not sorry about that. It's a great movement and it's super effective. And um, I think it's more important to do this well. And so squatting back to a bench helps you stabilize. That is great. And go. You can also grab a dumbbell or resistance band um, if you want to make this a bit tougher. But as always, hips round about hip width apart, uh, feet slightly turned out hips go back as though there's a chair behind you that you're sitting towards when you're at the bottom you squeeze the glutes fire back up making sure that the knees are controlled so we're not letting the knees fall in we're not letting them fall out keep going you're doing excellently well Great stuff, great stuff. And it's the low squats for us next. So really getting the bottom down to the floor. And not coming up all the way. So we're keeping that tension. You're gonna feel this in your quads. It's great stuff. Awesome, so we're dipping all the way down. Now you might be limited with how low you can go by your flexibility, especially in the ankle, um, in the dorsiflexion. So that's okay. I don't want you to stress about that and I don't want you to lose form. It is better to keep your form and not to go as low, okay? So don't worry about it if you feel like, oh, it's not getting as low, don't worry, that's cool. Um, what I do want is you to make sure that it is your heels that are planted on the ground, so the weight is through your heels, that your knees aren't falling forward or falling in. Awesome, amazing. And we're going in with the pulsing squats. I love this tricep. So pulsing squats, we're just pulsing around about that 90 degree mark. Keeping nice and strong, breathing through. And go. Chest up, breathing through, nice and strong, you can do it. Keep going, you're doing really well, nearly there. Yeah. 
awesome. Then we're going back into the single leg Romanian deadlift. So you can hold some dumbbells if you'd like. And go. So hips move back, feeling that stretch through the glutes and the hamstrings, squeezing those muscles as we bring the hips back through. The upper body pivots with that movement to stabilize and keep our balance. The shoulders are facing the floor, so shoulders are front on, parallel to the floor. We're not twisting or wobbling. We're intentionally squeezing with that mind to muscle connection. It's not some gobbledygook, it's for real. Squeeze, squeeze as you come back up. Great work, 20 seconds rest and onto the other leg. Making sure it's the hips that move back, nice neutral spine, core is engaged, You're doing really well, keep going. That leg coming up behind you, you can just turn that toe in a little bit so it's pointing towards uh, the other leg actually, towards the body, not out away and that will help you keep that good form and posture. Doing really well, hips go back slight bend in that knee of the leg that's planted on the floor. Awesome. Down onto the mat for the lateral leg raise. Go. So lifting that leg all the way up. Keep going, you're doing really well. Keep the integrity of the position. So I know it's tough, but you're not, the, the leg is the only thing moving. I don't want your shoulder rolling out to the side of the leg and like looking up towards the ceiling, no. You, you've got that box, you're square. You're in that position, there's just that leg shooting out from the body, nice long leg, lifting up, feeling the full weight of it. Great stuff. Now on the same leg, we're doing the donkey kick pulse. And go, pulsing that leg up towards the ceiling, squeezing the glutes as high up as you can go. The leg is the only thing that's moving. Core is engaged, spine is neutral, hands below shoulders, knee below hip. The other leg at a 90 degree bend at the knee, pushing up, pushing the ceiling up. You're doing so well, keep going. Great work, and then we're switching onto the other leg with the lateral leg raise. Go, lifting that leg up, neutral spine, as high up as you can go. Mind to muscle connection, breathing through, deep breaths, you're doing really well, nearly there. You've nearly gotten through the whole workout, I'm so proud of you. Keep smashing it, give it your all, because this is all going to be over before we know it, and you want to give it your all while you're here. If you're here, we're here, we're here on the mat, right? We're here, we may as well give it our best. Yeah, it's tough, but you are tougher, and I'm so, so with you on this, keep going.
and relax. 20 seconds rest before the donkey kick pulse. And go. Pushing that leg up. That knee, I don't want that knee to drop below hip height, okay? So it is from the same height as the hip, it goes even higher. So we're getting that full extension, moving that thigh up. The rest of the body stays still. So squeeze the glute, the leg is bent around 90 degrees at the knee, and we lift it up higher. We don't let it drop down low. Keeping that tension, keeping that time under tension. Well done, relax, and we're coming onto our back for the final home straight. The last few exercises, last couple of exercises. Hip raises, you can grab a dumbbell and a, and a resistance band if you need one, if you'd like one rather. And go, lifting all the way up. Squeezing the glutes and the hamstrings, lifting all the way up at the top point when you've lifted up as high as you can. The, imagine like a string going from the shoulder through the hip to the knee. That string should be pulled nice and tight, making a straight line when you're at the top. Keep going, you're doing so, so well. Absolutely smashing it. Squeeze at the top, spending more time up top than you do lowering the body down great stuff then we're going to target the hamstrings a bit more by moving the legs further out from the body and go hips all the way up it might feel as though your hips aren't getting quite as high as they were on the last exercise. That's normal because your feet are further away, so the room for lift is less. But that is okay, we're still getting a great workout. We're using those hamstrings, the muscles at the back of the thigh, and we're lifting up the body. Core is engaged, we're intentional. We're pushing through, getting in as many reps as you can. Doing so well stronger with every rep. Relax for 20. This is the final exercise before a little cool down, the frog leg hip raise. So draw those feet in towards the hips, the knees allow them to open out and then we're going to lift the hips up from there. Go. It's a small range of movement, but it's effective. So lifting the hips up, squeezing the glutes, trying to make sure that the knees stay open. So you don't want to bring the knees in together as you lift up. Just allow them to stay open. We're really targeting the, glute, the glutes here. You're doing so well. It's the last 20 seconds of the whole workout. You can do it. Keep going, keep pushing. And rest, well done. Pat yourself on the back, you did it. We'll finish off with a few stretches just to get you feeling nice and loose, but feel free to do some more stretches um, before we end. So stretching out the glute, you can cross one leg over the other and just hug it into the chest, sitting up nice and tall, turning towards that leg and you'll feel a nice stretch through the side of the thigh and the glutes there. Same thing on the other leg. So twisting over, hugging that knee into the chest, sitting up nice and tall. Breathing through. You've done so, so well. And we'll stretch out the hamstrings and the calves, just reaching towards the feet, allowing the weight of the head to carry our body over. Deep breaths here, feeling the stretch in the spine as well. You can flex and point the toes. 
If you can't reach the feet, that's okay. Just grab onto the calves or the knees, wherever you can reach. Edging the hips back to making sure you're kind of sat on the hamstrings and reaching down towards the legs. And then we're gonna draw the feet in towards the body to stretch out the hips and the inner thighs. So you can grab onto the feet and just draw them in towards the body as close as you can, allowing the knees to open. You can just shift around in this position and then press open the knees using your elbows, making sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Just take some deep breaths, feeling that stretch in the hips. And we're gonna stretch out the calf and hamstrings a bit more intensely. So leg out in front, other leg bent behind you and just reach over. And then you can press back as well. And just listen to your body, whatever's feeling tight, you can focus on that a bit longer. And same thing on the other side. So hurdle leg position. So one leg out in front, the other leg bent behind you. Reach over, feeling the stretch nice intense stretch here pressing the chest towards the thigh reaching for the toe or the calf the ankle wherever you can reach deep breathing amazing well done thank you so much for working out with me i will see you very soon well done guys <laughs>